All right, I am back out here with the Volantec Sport Cub 500. I have completely replaced the stock ailerons. I used Adams Ready Board Foam with the paper removed to fabricate new ailerons for the full span. I used 0.5 millimeter by 3 millimeter carbon slats for reinforcement. I fabricated new control horns so that I could get the control horn uh, connection as close to the bottom of the aileron as possible to also increase movement without binding the control rods or the control surfaces. So now the question is do I have enough aileron control for nice snappy rolls at cruising speed which is what I'm trying to get. So let's get it in the air and see what we have now. wind out this morning is four to eight so it can be a bit of a handful it's a little gusty well bring it back through here again Well, that is pretty snappy at slow speed. Bring it through there again. Sweet. Look at that. <laughs> Coming downwind. It's really speeding up going downwind. <laughs> Look at that. That is pretty spitty. I'm liking that a lot. Finally, we've got a good roll rate on this plane. At slow speed. Try that again. Look at that. Awesome. Now, when I perform the brushless conversion, it is going to be a very aerobatic little bush plane. Sweet. <laughs> oh, that is awesome. Boy, I just don't have any power on this plane anymore. That's a good thing I'm getting ready to convert it to brushless because this this motor and gearbox are just about spent nice though huh that is some nice roll right now and I put three tape hinges on each aileron so there's absolutely no resistance on the ailerons anymore, you know, as opposed to the uh, stock foam hinges. So they move very, very freely. Uh, that was a roll in crosswind. I should try one going downwind too, where it's got more speed. But that is awesome. Let's try it going downwind. Oh my, a little speed and it really rotates fast. Isn't that awesome? No longer am I waiting on it to complete its roll. Let's try it. Oh yeah, sweet. <laughs> even even crosswind it's got a pretty good roll rate to it uh, that is too cool I got my alarm set for five minutes since this um, awesome since this uh, power system is eating up the batteries now a lot faster than it, than it used to
check that out that is awesome and it looks pretty axial too um, when I when I'm getting it pointed straight into the wind yeah pretty axial Isn't that awesome? Stay out of the sun, Tony. <laughs> oh, that is too cool. I'm getting my haptic now. I'm almost at five minutes. That's a good thing because the, the power is dropping up even more now as crosswind. Uh, let's do one more. One more roll, uh, slow speed, awesome. Okay, let's bring it back around and land it. Put another battery pack in it. I'm just having too much fun rolling this thing now. Still in manual mode. Sweet. Okay, so that was a full manual mode flight in four to eight miles per hour wind. Um, Excellent roll rate now on this little tiny plane. Um, it's definitely, a, you'll have to weigh it, but I know that this Adams Ready Board foam is just extremely, extremely light. So I don't think I added any weight, but I'll double check and see and make sure. But um, awesome, awesome roll rate. My ailerons are good now, right where I want them. So I don't have to worry about that when I perform the brushless conversion. It's good to go. All right, let's put another battery pack in it. Okay, full manual mode again. The wind does not seem to be letting up one single bit. Uh, let's go ahead and get it in the air. Yeah, the wind forecast for this morning was two to three, not four to eight. Oh well. If I had, look at that, if I had known that the wind was going to be this bad uh, for this little plane, I would have waited and not brought it out today. But since I'm here, awesome. That is an awesome roll rate now, and this thing is not moving very quickly through the air with the stock power system anymore. Look at that. That's pretty darn snappy. You guys remember what the roll was like before, right? Stock. Look at that. Stock and then with the first mod, which was a little bit of an improvement, but nowhere near where I wanted it. And, and so this modification has gotten it right where I want it. Snappy. Nappy. <laughs> that is too cool. I'm really happy with that. But man, am I hitting a lot of turbulence. Oh, it's a lot of turbulence and a lot of wind for such a small plane. And full manual mode. There's two in a row. That was pretty iffy in the wind. Pretty iffy. Look at that. It getting bounced around quite a bit. Woo! To the other direction. That's the last time I'm trying that in this wind. It seems to have pretty good power for about the first minute. And then it really, really falls off. But I am really happy with that. Downwind, look at that thing pick up speed. Whee! Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> can, you, can you tell I'm having some fun out here today? Oh man, that is cool. I'm just having a blast just rolling this thing. Yeah. This has got a roll rate now like the P-51 Mustang, the Mini P-51.
without the speed. I'm, I may actually, you know, when I put that brushless motor in here and it has a lot more power, I may actually have to tone that aileron down a little bit. I didn't think about that, but yeah, I bet you I may have to. If I'm getting rolls like this with as little power as this thing is demonstrating now, um, with a lot more thrust up from the motor going over those ailerons, I think it's going to be maybe too fast. But that's okay. I can tone it down. I would rather I would rather be have to tone it down than not have enough, you know. That is cool. I love this plane. Love it even more now with rolls like that. <laughs> awesome. Absolutely awesome. Going downwind. Really speeding up, huh? Woo, turning up wind. Look at that. It's it's still, you know, I mean, I don't know how far I am through the battery pack, but I can really feel the power falling off, and I'm still getting snappy rolls with it. Yeah, so my haptic is just now starting to go off. Awesome. Now you can see they're slowing down a bit now because I'm at the end of my battery pack and and uh, power is way down now. Okay. Let's bring it in and land it again. I think I'm going to call it quits because the wind is not giving up one bit. Toosh! Alright, so guys, I'm really happy with the roll rate on this little plane now. No worries. So... And I don't even think, well, I can't trim it out anyway right now with all the wind, but I don't even have any trim in it right now. So I'm just trying to hang on to it in the in the wind. Hopefully I'll bring it I'll be able to bring it out in some calmer wind and, and test it out one more time. Uh, see if I need to make any adjustments to the linkage, you know, get it nice and finely trimmed. And uh, then you know, it'll handle even better. A well trimmed plane handles a lot better than one that isn't so anyway thanks for watching and i will see you in the air